want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. The Jews were and are looking for Elijah to come before the Messiah. We as Christians know that Elijah has come in the form of John the Baptist. Can you count that Elijah has already come at the Mount of Transfiguration? Well, this is a very multi-layered but very articulated question here. In Matthew chapter 17, there is an account of Jesus being with Elijah and with Moses. Now, Peter, James, and John meet them on the, quote, Mount of Transfiguration. The reason that this was brought up in the question is when you get to Revelation chapter 11, that great prophetic passage of the famous two witnesses, I believe there's biblical evidence that that is, quote, Moses and Elijah. And the question is right. In Malachi chapter 4, it made it very clear at the end of the Old Testament that Elijah must come. In fact, today, those that are of a, a Jewish faith that celebrate the religious expression of what we know as Passover always leave an empty seat for Elijah. Now, in Matthew chapter 11, Jesus made it clear. He said that if they, the Jews, received him, that John the Baptist was the fulfillment of this Elijah. Now, I know that sounds like I'm coming at it from all different angles, because I think it's a great insight. Did the Mount of Transfiguration count as, quote, Elijah coming? Here's what I would say. I would say that Elijah, as prophesied in Malachi chapter 4, was not fulfilled in the ministry of John the Baptist. I do believe it is fulfilled in the Revelation chapter 11 passage where Elijah himself physically manifest a supernatural ministry among the people of Israel. So even though the Mount of Transfiguration was phenomenal, incredible, and an opportunity of face-to-face -face interaction with Elijah, I do not personally see that as a fulfillment of that Malachi chapter 4 prophetic element. So again, there is coming a day where Elijah will come, Revelation 11, and then Jesus, eight chapters later, physically returns thereafter. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.